Hello everyone, a bit later today. I've just come in being to my granddaughter's, it's now half six. Had quite a good day at my granddaughter's Sunday dinner and then we played play a card right with the kids. And you know, there was just no luck. We played for quite a long time and nobody could win. We had to give up at the finish. At least there was no, as they're getting a bit older, there's no sort of going in the hoof when they don't win. There was just, oh man, you know, when the, <laughs> they didn't get it. But we had to give up in the end because just nobody was going to win it. But anyway, I came home. So I've been doing a little bit of, um, I did a little bit of knitting of Derek's while well, I was at my granddaughter's. And I'm doing just a little bit now until about half seven and then I'm going to start knitting on my own and you can see how much you know, the pattern's coming on here. And it does take a long time to get across. There's 142 stitches here. It does take quite a long time to get across 142 stitches so it wasn't as many rows as I would have done if it was something smaller I was knitting. But anyway about another hour and that'll get a few more rows done and when I get a little bit further up I would put add a little bit more to the um the knit along that I'm doing with it and show exactly what it's starting to look like and and then when I get up to the armholes I will show you how to do some of the um the shaping on it but I'll put that down for the uh, minute and show you what else I've been doing and I have finished. These are the coasters I'm doing for Pat. I've done one, two, three, four. I still have to sew in the ends on here on them. I've left them till, till last. And I'm in the middle of the mandala at the moment. And this is how the the mandala is coming along and as you can see it has the what what I do on the um the coasters just this is a slightly different stitch because I'm not doing the, the wavy bit here like I have on the edge of the the scallop bit like I have on there that bit there that bit comes at the end So I've just done those stitches there, just added extra ones of those ones, the same as the other stitches around it and then making up a few more of my own pattern. This is my own pattern, it's not a one I've done because I can't follow crochet patterns to save my life. I like to make things up myself, I find it easier that way, it's easier that way for me so I just do different stitches, you know I've just done different stitches to it and trying to keep it from going wavy you know sometimes when you do these larger things they end up going a little bit wavy they don't go perfectly flat that's why i prefer to use cotton i'll always use cotton because if they do start going a little bit wavy you can press them if you can put a cloth over them and then use a steam iron and that takes all the waves out and it makes it flat you can do that with cotton but you can't do that with acrylic acrylic you'd spoil anything with acrylic so I always prefer to do coasters and things like this is the mandala to go with the um the set of four coasters the only problem I'm having with this is I do not have enough of this to do the scalloped edge I do have that is all I have left and that is to do another little edge around here there is not enough to do the scallop and that little bit so i have some it's not mercerized cotton it's ordinary cotton so i'm going to do the scallop around the edge with this because it just isn't enough of this and i know it's going to i know it's a waste of time trying to do it because it's going to end up not enough so that's what i'm going to use that's what i've done that before if i've run out of the um the thing but it's just for the scalloped part around the um the edge but this is very expensive to buy 
I've looked around on um, the cheapest place you can get it from is from Lion Brand itself because this is what it is, it's Lion Brand 24-7, they call it cotton. But you cannot get it. Lion Brand is in the United States and you would have to pay the postage for to come from the United States to here. And they do have, you can find out balls on the likes of eBay and Amazon, but they cost a fortune. This was sent to me, which is why I wouldn't buy it because of the price, what it would cost for it. So this sort of stuff you can use. It is cream. It looks slightly paler than that one. It is a paler cream, but it is cream. And like I'm saying, the, the price of it is just too costly for to get from the United States to the United Kingdom. So that's what I'm going to use for the um, the edge, for the um, the scallop edge on it. I could do a different colour. I have enough of likes of this to do a scallop on, but it wouldn't match the rest of the... Because these ones here have the cream on the edge and you want just the mandala to, rest, to match the, um, the rest of the coasters. So anyway, that is the problem with this because we used more of this cream than you did of the other colours because you did it in the centre and around the edge as well. But anyway, I'm nearly finished that. I probably have, I do these until they measure about 12 inches across and this measures almost 18, not 18, it measures almost 11 inches. So when I get this this row, this round here done, it'll measure the 11 inches and then I'll have one more to do, which will be the white, the scalloped edge all around. And that'll be that mandala finish. And I'll probably get that finished tomorrow morning. I'll Because I'm not doing any of this. I did this early this morning. I'm not doing any more until tomorrow morning. And I'll finish that off. And I'll probably be able to send it off to Pat tomorrow afternoon. So... <laughs> That's enough of that for now. I'm going to put that in the bag and the hook so I don't lose the hook as well. And I still do have quite a bit of the brown, so I could probably do some more just coasters with the um, the brown and the the sandy colour, or it's like an amber colour, I think. It's a deep, or like a burnt, like a burnt colour. Something like that. I can probably... I do have some more mercerized cotton, but it all, they are all like dark blue and it's not cream, it's a, um, it's a near cream, but it's a bit darker than cream. I have some more, but I'll have to sort it out in the other colours. That is a mercerized cotton anyway. So that's enough of that. And I did a little bit more of my own last night. You can see I'm up to the armholes on here, so there's not much more to do to that. I'll get up to the shoulders and probably get that piece finished tonight, hopefully. And then I did, whoops, I've dropped the ball off there. It's, you know, I was sitting on my granddaughter's settee today with this just down beside me and the two dogs thought it was a ball. They were just dived at it. I had to grab it out of the way. And, you know, we had to put up with those two dogs, the smell of them all day. They were just, <laughs> as the scene goes, they were farting. The smell was terrible. This is Cheryl. I don't know what makes them smell like that, but we had to put up with that all afternoon with those two dogs. But anyway, my balls rolled right across the floor. I'll have to put that, pick it up after I'm not going to get up in the middle of this. And I did a little bit more of that, so I'm nearly up to the armholes on that sleeve, so that will be finished. I would probably be saving this for um, for Dagri, because she did ask me, I hadn't, she must have sent me an email sometime quite a while ago and asked for a cardigan for her granddaughter, Zuri, who's about four years old, I think nearly four years old. And one each for the twins who were about a year old now. And I don't know what happened to the email. I couldn't find it. But I thought, seeing I was in the middle of this, this is 26 inch it'll do for, for the little girl. And I'll have to turn the two little ones for a year old, probably 20 inch ones for the, the two. 
and send them off to the United States. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm keeping that so it won't be going on AB. But I have to get some more, try to get more of these things done. But I do have a couple couple more to do for to finish my pattern. And I have quite a few other patterns I started. I've done one or two sizes and things and haven't gotten round to do any more. So there'll be quite a few patterns when I get them all sorted out. But anyway, I'm going to get back to Derek's. A little bit more of this before I finish for that for today. Because I usually do this in the afternoon, but... I did some this afternoon, but not as much as I would normally if I was at home, because, you know, you don't get, when you're in company with someone, you don't get as much done as what um, you do when you're sitting at home, knitting. And then I had the two dogs kept trying to get on my knee all afternoon anyway. <laughs> They're terrible for that, for, for wanting to be on your knee. I think it's your body heat, the light, actually. But never mind, that's it for my... Little bit for tonight, just to keep you up with what I have been doing, and I have just knitted across, talking all of those stitches. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I have knit just knitted across sixteen stitches when I should have been knitting two and purling two. That's what happens when you talk. So I'm going to have to take those stitches out. So anyway, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.